Hi there, Halu here. Good morning, it is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. At around 8 a.m., I am headed to work at this time. And recently, I have not been getting up early. I have not been going to the gym. I have not been working on my vlogs. I have not been sticking to my routine. And I've come to terms that when my girlfriend is in town, I'm just not going to be doing the same thing every single day. And I'm okay with it because she's only in town for a couple of days every so often. And I would much rather spend my nights staying up a little bit later with her and also sleeping a little bit more because I'm staying up late and have enough energy for work. And I've come to terms that being creative, working on your own creativity, and trying to stick to your own self-aligned goals is more accomplishable when you are by yourself. Unless you have a partner or someone to also stick to those same goals that you have, mostly these things need to be accomplished alone. I myself can only focus on myself when I'm by myself. I'm not able to have other outside influences or other obligations for other people uh, and still think about myself. I think that's one thing that is critical to me. Like if there's other tasks I need to do for other people or other responsibilities apart from me, I will almost always make that my priority instead of my own priorities. And I think it's just, for me, a sort of cathartic experience to take care of everything else that you need to do before you focus on yourself. And I guess that's what makes me a family man because if I, let's for example say I had a family, I would make sure that they're up for school, they're fed, they have what they need, and basically take care of anything that is needed from me before I can proceed with doing what I like to do. And I think that's something that my family, my parents have really ingrained in me while growing up. It's just that you gotta take care of each other before you take care of yourself. And I'm starting to realize that with my girlfriend being here, it's just that I can't focus on myself can't focus on what I need to do unless she's not around and I don't need to do anything. And it's not that she is requiring me to do anything for her. It's just that I would rather much be alone to do my own thing than be with other people to try to do my own thing. And so I've accepted that I'm not going to be sticking to my routine while my girlfriend is here. And that is completely fine with me. I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I'm just gonna get right back on track when she's not around anymore. But yeah, everything has been really good. Everything has been very smooth. Uh, we went to Coachella over the past weekend and that was extremely fun. You know, the thought of a three day festival sounds super exhausting, but I think that's because in the past when, I, when I've done three day festivals, I've done it with people who enjoy getting lit and partying and turning up. And when you do three days of that, it's super exhausting. But when you take it easy, enjoy the festival for what it is, catch the music acts, eat, hydrate, take breaks, and just enjoy a very easy going experience, 3D festivals aren't even that bad. We woke up on Monday morning at home completely fine. No soreness, no tiredness, no anything that I usually would get if I went to a three-day festival. And it was a lot of fun. I didn't record too much footage, but definitely catching the people that we saw was a lot of fun. And it was just a good experience being able to have it with my girlfriend as our first festival together. And of course now she loves Coachella. Um, and I have a better mindset about Coachella. 
we didn't think the lineup was going to be that great, but we had fun seeing everyone we saw. But nonetheless, today is back on a work week, and I'm headed to work. There's a lot of traffic for some reason. But yeah, today should be a pretty easy going day. I will see you guys all at lunch. Peace. Good afternoon, it is now 1 p.m. and you know it's lunchtime. I don't know if I have like post-concert depression or I'm not too sure what it is, but I'm just kind of feeling like I don't want to work anymore, man. <sighs> it just seems like it's so pointless, you know, like I guess I go like up and down with this whole thing of like wanting to work and like not wanting to work and it just kind of comes and goes in waves like sometimes I'm like fine with working other days I'm just like ugh. but today is one of those ugh days but nonetheless it's a pretty chill day pretty normal day nothing too crazy uh, I bought bun mi yesterday and then alongside I also got some kong tam which is uh you know broken rice uh, so I got some of that for lunch today and eat it yesterday and um yeah I'm looking forward to eating this I didn't get time to eat breakfast this morning but yeah I am um I'm just kind of pooped kind of tired uh, maybe it's just coming back to work after taking four days off um but yeah I wish I wasn't working I think maybe after a couple days Perhaps even when my girlfriend leaves um, and I get back into the routine of things, it'll go back in shape. But I'm tired today and I got enough sleep and it's not the whole sleep situation. It's just I'm tired today of working, of working, of doing my duties. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to get into this food. Uh, doesn't seem like there's any Anything lined up for the evening, probably just gonna cook dinner and just chill for the rest of the night. So I will talk to you guys later tonight. Peace. For dinner, I took the chuck steak that my sister recently used for the beef stew she made and cooked up a steak dinner for my girlfriend and I. On the side, we also have garlic stir fried shrimp, diced and baked broccoli, which I learned to make from my time at Sweetgreen, and some random mushroom sauce I made with sauteed onions, vinegar, and other random ingredients. All that topped off with a sunny side egg over rice. I definitely ate on this one. Good afternoon. It is April 17th, 2024. Just a little bit after 1 p.m. I am in my car for lunch and at a different location as we do have a meeting after lunch. Today I have some of the curry that I made the other day and uh, some rice with the broccoli I also made yesterday. I don't know what it was about this morning but I was just extremely lazy, tired, unwilling and really just didn't want to go to work. I was super tired. I like passed out um, pretty early I would say around like 10 or 11 o'clock and I was just so tired I think it was eating just a huge breakfast a huge dinner having eaten like steak and shrimp and tons and tons of butter and rice and it was just a big dinner so I think that just put me in a very slumped mood. I have been thinking about how these vlogs um, kind of affect me in my life, how I feel guilty, and I've mentioned this in the past, that I just feel guilty not being able to catch up with the times or like be able to produce vlogs weekly, as I said I would. And I'm utilizing all my extra and free time to putting together these vlogs and it's just a cycle of me talking about how I can't get these vlogs out on time and also me putting out vlogs about that. So it's just, it's one, it's not interesting content. Two, I'm not even doing what I really want to be doing. And um, I just, I just don't think that it is uh, really optimizing the most of my time by making vlogs about editing vlogs about not being able to put out the vlogs right so it's just like a cycle of like nothingness really and because i don't want to be in that cycle 
I think what's best for me to do is to put out monthly vlogs. So usually when I start something new, um, if you noticed when I started these vlogs, they were daily and then I moved them to weekly. I think it's best for me to do monthly vlogs. And that's just because, you know, I can at least allocate some time in my entire month to put together smaller moments. I don't need to record myself in the car, driving to work, eating lunch every single day. That's a lot of content. That's like five to 10 minutes each day, which produces a 30 to 50 minute vlog of me just talking to the camera. And truthfully, my days are not that interesting. I'm only just going to work. I'm only just editing vlogs. Sometimes I'm playing games. Um, some days I'm just working. And it's really not all that interesting. I think what I need to turn these vlogs into is something that's more exciting. Things that I don't do on the regular. Um, and if the and if within the month I don't do anything interesting, then I just won't post that much that month. And I think that's how it should go from now on because it is taking a lot of my time. It's taking a lot of my energy when I could be focusing more on my goals, which is 3D. And really it is um, my girlfriend who helps me really align myself back to the original idea of what I need to do to be successful and how to create success for myself. Because if I'm just spending time editing vlogs about working on vlogs, then it's just, it's not going anywhere. I think after the end of this week, I will be putting a halt on recording myself every day, unless something is interesting every day or I have something to say every day. Just put a halt on trying to edit and produce and get these vlogs out ASAP every single day. Um, just forget about that idea and really get back to my original idea of working on 3D. That's what I want to do. That's what I have fun doing. That's what I need to get better at. So I need to put more time into the into these things. The idea of like vlogging was a really fun idea to begin with and I think I still think it is fun, but it is it takes up a lot of time to have to ed edit a vlog every week. Um, I thought editing a vlog every day was going to be a little difficult, but editing a vlog every week is even worse because then you have every day, every day you have some sort of content and that's just me talking in the car. But yeah, I have a lot of things to say and a lot of things on my mind. What's best is, um, yeah, I think after this week I will start to make the monthly vlogs and only of things that are irregular or if I have new thoughts, ideas, opinions on different things that I want to share or talk about. Um, that's what it'll become. Um, because yeah, if I'm just putting out 30 to 50 minute vlogs of me talking about editing vlogs, it's not going to be that interesting. The food stuff is cool, right? I mean, like I eat, I eat different things almost every day, but yeah, again, not that interesting. But yeah, today should be a pretty normal day. I'm going to go into this meeting. Hopefully we end earlier than 530. Then I'll have some free time to just be by myself and chill and figure stuff out about my life. But until then, launch. Peace. Later that night, I just microwaved a TV dinner from Trader Joe's. I'm actually a huge fan of these frozen meals. They're quick, easy, tasty, and like a perfect portion for a meal. Of course, I had to heat up some of my girlfriend's leftover Popeyes to accompany the meal. Can't say no to fried chicken. Then being fat me that I am, I had my girlfriend bring home an In-N-Out Double Double for a late night meal. God, this looks so good right now as I'm editing. Good morning, today is Thursday, April 18th, 2024. I am on my way to work and it is a gloomy morning. It is quite dark. I hope it stays this way. I prefer it this way. It's, it gets too hot during the afternoon and I don't like to sit in my car and eat lunch when it's hot. So I'm hoping it stays nice and cool. Yesterday was a pretty cool day, except for work, because after work we had the meeting. I just kept falling asleep. Anytime anyone would speak, I would just doze off like, oh my God, this is so boring. Just went home, played a lot of AFK Journey, progressed. I jumped like one million, 1.2 or 3 million in a day which is crazy but now I'm at a really hard place 
and it's a little bit difficult to get through these mobs, but it's still a fun game. I still have fun and enjoy myself while playing it. Plan today is to go to work and need to drop off some Amazon return at UPS during lunch. Then maybe a little bit later after work, take my girlfriend to Gentle Monster because she wants to check out some things, followed by some dinner. I want to take her to this place called Mrs. Fish. The restaurant looks a little bit like Alice in Wonderland and a little crazy. It is Japanese inspired seafood, I believe, so sushi and that sort of a thing. But I think there's like other stuff too. I'll have to take a, check out the menu to see if we get the five course dinner or just order a la carte. That should be fun. Again, haven't been waking up in the morning. I really can't, especially if I stay up late with my girlfriend. Like, there's no way I'm getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning. It's just way too early, not enough sleep. But I don't mind it, I don't mind it. I actually need to sleep. Even getting up at 7 a.m. has been kind of hard in the past couple of days. But I have been kind of fiending going back to the gym. Can't wait to go back uh, as soon as I can because working out feels great. And I think we all need to work out a little bit in our lives. But that's on the agenda for today. I will see you guys back later at lunch. Peace. Went back home during lunch to join my girlfriend for a quick Popeye's meal. I couldn't let her enjoy all the chicken to herself. Once I got off work, we went to Gentle Monster as promised. Shopped around for some glasses, bought them, and we were out the door. For dinner, we had Mrs. Fish, a Japanese-inspired cuisine located by Pershing Square in downtown Los Angeles. The interior decor was very unique, starting with some stairs that led down a hallway to the dining level onto some checkerboard floors, and a hanging aquarium right above our seats. We started with the seared tuna crispy rice. Ever since I had the crispy rice benedict at Yamashiro, I've been craving for more. <laughs> and the resort, yeah, so pretty much, yeah. But she's like explained to everybody, she's like, I've like dated. Then the oyabun, which has main lobster with wagyu beef, and some sweet shrimp nigiri. We're sweet shrimp enjoyers now. For our dishes, we got the beef short rib and uni pasta. What I want to do is hurt me. Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Why are you so close? Dinner was a lot of fun, and the atmosphere brought upon a comforting feeling to ease into the late hours. And for dessert, we got ice cream. Yes, at Wanderlust Creamery. We got the pandan tres leches and black sesame cookies and cream. So creamy. Good morning, it is Friday, April 19th, 2024. I am on my way to work, and it is gloomy again. But even though it was gloomy yesterday, it ended up to be very freaking hot. I had to crank the AC down to 72. Actually, it was pretty good temperature to stay cool inside the office. Last night after work, I took my girlfriend to Gentle Monster so she could pick up some sunglasses. Since we had an hour to kill, walked around little Tokyo, just browsed these stores. Even though I went to little Tokyo with my coworkers, it was just like so much more appealing to go with my girlfriend. I don't know if it's because like, well it's because of, it's because it's, 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 it's my girlfriend. Of course it's gonna be more fun. <laughs> but after that we went to Mrs. Fish, uh, popular cuisine, popular seafood cuisine that I've been meaning to check out because of the aesthetics inside. Pretty cool how they have aquariums set up all over the place on the ceiling, uh, along the wall. Food was okay. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. And it was fairly decent priced. It wasn't like too crazy expensive or anything. 
and we got about six or seven dishes including entrees and appetizers and it was still under about two hundred dollars which is what I like to pay. I don't like paying for like small portions big prices. I feel like it's not worth it at that point. But today should be a fairly normal day, not much else going on. I think I'm just slowing down on this vlogging stuff because it takes a lot to edit me talking for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes. My girlfriend watches a lot of vlogs so I see like how others have done it before. A lot of the times they just put like a caption and like some silent video. But like I don't do enough in my life to just even film random parts and put a caption. I'd rather speak on it and I think narrating a video is a lot better than putting a caption on it. But that's just my take and my style of recording myself. I'm pretty tired this morning. Feeling a little sleepy. sleepy. Yeah, should be a pretty normal day. We, it is Friday, so I'm gonna go eat with my coworkers. Not sure what that is yet, but rumor has it that we are getting pokey once again, which I don't mind because pokey is good for you. And pokey is good. So I never mind eating some pokey. I'm gonna head to work now and start my day. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Sure enough, we had pokey. I always get the spicy tuna, something else, and albacore, then pack it all with the free ingredients. A must for me is green onions, ginger, cucumbers, fried and raw onions, and masago. After work, I had to pick oranges from our tree. I have never done this before, but it was pretty easy with the help of this tool. However, I kept missing the bag. You're doing it on purpose. <laughs> okay. You get it. Your mom said they're expensive. Are you doing it on purpose? <laughs> hey. Stop it. You're smashing them on the ground. <laughs> scared of you with that thing. Once we finished harvesting oranges, I cooked some dinner. It was this beef stew thingy. I basically took a bunch of beef and chicken broth, cut up some potatoes, added some random sauces for flavor, and for the meat I think it was like shredded beef taco meat. Anyways, it turned out amazing and so hearty. Hello, it is four swans. <laughs> And I'm at work. Today for lunch, I've got some of the leftovers from Mrs. Fish the other night, which is uni pasta and some of the mashed potatoes that came with the uh, beef short rib. This is extremely hot. Um, I also added some of the beef stewy thingy that I made yesterday, which was extremely delicious. I don't even know when I cook sometimes. I just start adding ingredients. I don't even know. I was like, oh, some of this flavor, some of that flavor, some of this flavor, and it came out pretty spanking good. Um, so I'm excited to get into this because I didn't need anything for breakfast today. I did, however, order seven leaves for uh, some coffee in the morning and that took forever but once I had it in my system I got it going uh, today I work is pretty chill not much going on just uh, really not even really working to be honest <laughs> uh, I was playing a lot of AFK journey getting through uh, one of the endgame chapters and uh, watching Asmund Gold play No Rest for the Wicked which looks like a very fun Souls-like ARPG I would like to try one day um, but I have too many games on my plate and um, not enough time to play it unfortunately. After work today I'm gonna be heading to Las Vegas with my girlfriend to go visit my sister and her family. That should be pretty fun just staying for a night, two nights including tonight and then she is off to go back home on Tuesday. So looking forward to spending some last minute moments with her and just make the most of her trip which has been pretty damn fun this time around. Um, not that it isn't fun anytime around but this time it's been good. It's been really good. 
I uh, gotta get into my lunch now. We'll talk to you guys later and see what happens tonight. Peace. And then we were on the road. Around 7 p.m. we turned on Coachella to relive our previous weekend. It wasn't as fun as actually being there. We were about to go last minute, but decided not to in case we get scammed. We made it to Vegas around midnight, and since we hadn't eaten, we made a stop at Zippy's restaurant for a twisted donut and a surf pack to go. Woke up Sunday morning to a little breakfast my sister made for us and a latte to get us going. We started the day at a little petting zoo within my sister's area, and there were so many animals just chilling everywhere. Look at He's not gonna bite you. Not the feet, just the head. They don't like it when you touch the feet. <laughs> he ate it all. I get him more. Chase him. <laughs> After that, we went to watch my nephew at soccer practice and took a stroll to the nearby cafe within the park. For dinner, we got Mr. Barbecue, and everything tasted amazing. We didn't even feel like crap after having all that meat. A first for Korean barbecue and I. <laughs> I love that you're always camera ready. <laughs> then my girlfriend wanted another Sunny Angel, this time attached to her phone. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I opened the bag, here we go. We do it. <gasps> Is it a mouse? Okay, okay. Oh, cute! We then went to a claw machine place, and I'm not really a fan of these places because I know that they program the odds to go against you. Ah, <laughs> oh! Over here. Oh, that's a cool one. Yay! Get it. What is it? Uh, thank you. Oh, yay! Oh, 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 but this place was decent, and I actually brought home three stuffed animals for my girlfriend. Let me see your wind. <laughs> At night, my girlfriend and I went to see Chris Angel. Watching Chris Angel as a kid on A&E was always a good time for me, but damn, this show sucked ass. It was a cluster of randomness and cash grabbing activities. Even my girlfriend bought a water bottle, which was like $9. The jokes were strange and he barely performed any magic. I couldn't tell if I was at a rave or my kid's talent show. It was so bad, but I'm glad we got to experience that. That was it for this week. Thank you for watching and holla at you later.